this is the original swing arm from the Honda RS250. I'm going to do a replica of this uh, with a tubular trellis design. Uh, so um, I'm keeping uh, the outer profile from this and uh, I have uh, previously had uh, the engine mounted just uh, a little bit in front of the swing arm because this was kind of fragile I thought so I didn't want to take out any part here to to have the engine in, inside here so uh, so for this design I'm doing now I'm um, putting the uh, swing arm pivot shaft 52 millimeters in front <clears throat> so I will um, I will uh, align this to where the engine normally uh, was situated. So um, this is um, the profile I'm uh, aiming for. Bending two inch thin walled uh, chrome mulligan tubes turned out to be a real uh, challenge. Uh, uh, but on the fifth attempt with a mandrel it uh, finally worked out. So that was a relief. <clears throat> Um, here is uh, one of the tubes and uh, as you can see it, uh, it's looking uh, pretty nice I think. Um, this is going uh, on the one side of the swing arm and uh, this one is uh, going on the other. As you know it's uh, supposed to be a single sided swing arm with uh, this two inch tube as a base. So. Uh, now the front end of the frame is uh, completed, it doesn't need this fixture anymore. So I have uh, reused this uh, swing arm pivot shaft uh, and made some um, cone shaped um, fixtures here. Uh, I have put um, an Ovaco 280 material here. It is uh, machined to the proper outer diameter, uh, both uh, left and right. Uh, it is uh, not machined to the finished ID because uh, I am uh, calculating with that when all the welding is done, it will twist a little bit. So the final machining will have to be in the mill. Uh, so I have left uh, two millimeters on the inner diameter. Uh, on both sides. There will be a needle bearing uh, on the right side, which is the drive side, uh, and there will be two uh, normal ball bearings in the, the left side, and they will take uh, the side, um, side to side fixture of the swing arm as well. There will be nothing uh, involved with the side forces on the right side. And as you can see, I've left this middle uh, unmachined because this will be cut off uh, and the engine will be mounted directly through the swing arm pivot shaft. Uh, I've also um, added uh, this fixture to the, to the fixture uh, with a large tube here and here I have uh, clamped the final um, yeah, end of the swing arm. So uh, this measurement here is uh, checked and correct and uh, the alignment all is square and fair. So um, now I will start uh, adapting this tube going here and this tube here. So it's just uh, roll up your sleeves. I can't do that anymore. And get to work. So this is one, one day's work completed with uh, aligning the 2 inch tubing to the fixture. So you can see now that it is um, starting to look like a single sided swing arm. Um, the <coughs> 2 inch tubing was a little bit um, too much for what was placed for uh, with uh, the engine is going to be here. So um, I had to make this one uh, smaller, this one even smaller, so that's why I needed to do this taper down here. So I have uh, cut it up 
and uh, then welded it again. So uh, there was a little bit of uh, work with that too. And um, of course, as in uh, all joints, there is some work to do to get it proper aligned. But it um, seems like it fits fits nice now. So uh, it's um, welding time. Welding. Yeah. Busy, busy, busy. Well, this swing arm was a real pain in the um, somewhere to uh, make. Uh, I fitted these uh, two inch pipes or tubes, and uh, <coughs> that was okay, uh, I think. And uh, this is um, one and a quarter tube. Um, this is uh, doing all these bends here, taking into account that uh, the rear sprocket doesn't hit anywhere, that the rim doesn't hit when it's uh, adjusted in this direction, that the tire doesn't hit when it comes in the front direction or adjustment, and uh, it should be free here from um, uh, the rear shock with uh, the gas tank here in the back close to here and uh, fitting all over the place that was uh, quite a challenge but uh, now it's there uh, next step is uh, all these uh, small tubes these are coming from here uh, looks a little bit clueless doesn't it uh, so after um, a lot of uh, fitting uh, this seems to be almost finished, at least when it comes to the welding part. Uh, now I will cut off this uh, mid section here uh, to be able to fit in the engine and then there will be a needle bearing on the right side and there will be two ball bearings on the left side, taking the actual forces. So, um, well, it's uh, kind of neat, don't you think? I cannot help but laughing, but Cromolibden uh, steel sheets are tough bastards. <laughs> you really have to smack them. <laughs> 